my hair today. Right. Go ahead and take a seat. Um, take out your notebook, your pencil. And we'll be talking about a little bit of music theory today. So just the basics. Um, and if you have questions at all, just feel free to raise your hand. Um, so today is just the introduction class. If you have any questions throughout, just raise your hand. Um, if you need to use the restroom or get a drink, feel free to just raise your hand. And um, we'll go ahead and get started, okay? So, first we're going to kind of talk about pitch. So, pitch. So when we talk about pitch, it just refers to how high or how low a note sounds. So, they are often referred in terms of the human singing voice. So when we think about soprano, and these are not always true, but when we think about soprano, it's usually like a high toned voice and a high tone. So high women's voice soprano. And then alto is the opposite. It's a low a woman's voice. Okay. And then um, tenor is a high man's voice. And then we have the opposite, um, bass is low, a man's voice. So we have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. And those are the types of pitch. Any um, questions with that so far? Raise your hand. I'm here to help you. Okay, and then, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a music stuff. Okay, so music is written on a music staff that consists of five lines and four spaces. So just make them as straight as we can. Obviously, they would be all even. It's better so even if I kind of just erase this down. We can make it more straight. Okay, that looks a little better. So we've got one, two, three, four, five lines, and then one, two, three, four spaces. Okay, so the plural of staff is staffs. And they are often connected by a brace or bracket and bar lines. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here we have stabs. So these are this is one, two stabs. And then if I wanted to connect it, I can use a brace here. So there's a brace. Or you could also use a... Go ahead and erase the brace. You can also use a bracket. So we'll just make a little line here. And then a straight line. And then go down here. And this is a bracket to connect the steps. And then there's also, sometimes you can see in there, there are bar lines. So it can look like this, like this. Does that make sense so far? Okay. And I apologize for my drawings. It's not perfect. Okay. And then 
we have lines and spaces. And we're going to draw another stop here. So we're going to do five lines. Okay, so I have five lines here. Good. My marker's kind of running out. And notes can be drawn on a line or a space. So a note on a line is centered on the line, and a note on the space is contained within the space between the lines. So you could have a note. Going to be centered in that line. Okay, but you can also have notes, so let's draw another staff here. You can also have notes within the spaces. Okay, does that make sense? So the ones that are drawn on the line are called lines, and the ones that are drawn in the spaces are called spaces. Okay. So in handwritten music, you need to be careful to center notes on the line or draw them in completely within the space, otherwise the note is a bit ambiguous. So we're going to take a look and we're going to guess what the next two lines are if you were looking at handwritten. I had a note kind of like this. Would you say that that is on the line or the space? Probably more the space. It's a little bit on the line, but I would say that's more in the space. Okay, and then... This one. Got on the line. Very good. So, ledger lines are used to extend the range of the staff. So, ledger lines can appear above or below the staff. They maintain the spacing of the staff lines and extend slightly beyond each note head. Ledger lines never extend further than necessary. So, if we have a staff. staff here. You're not going to want to do it too high or too low. So, and, um, are you paying attention? Okay. Um, what are you looking at? This red dot. Okay. <laughs> um, that's just from, you know, holding my legs to... Yeah, yeah just holding them together. distracted by it. Okay, but anyways, so we've got these ledger lines, and they're used to extend the range of the staff. So ledger lines can appear above or below the staff. They maintain the spacing of the staff lines and extend slightly beyond each note head. Ledger lines can never extend further than necessary. So they can go a little bit above here, but they're not supposed to go, you know, too far above. You can only extend a bit above, but you don't want to do it too far below. Does that make sense? Okay. And then the higher up the staff the note appears, the higher the pitch. And the lower, the lower the pitch. So if we think about it this way, these are the high pitches. 
and low which is, does that make sense? okay alright so we'll go ahead and we'll stop there um, kind of a lot of new information for you know, our first class but does anyone have any questions about what we've learned so far?